Okay, this is a learning curve. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's 5 a.m. Good morning. Let's go get the mm -hmm. iPhone 16. Oh, I'm slipping away. So don't. We have the first phone here. And I saw somewhere online that you can ask them for the Apple stickers in store and they could give them to you, but she didn't seem to know what I was talking about, so we'll see. Um, and she's getting the second phone right now. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody and welcome to it. Welcome to my iPhone 16 Pro Max unboxing. So I actually have the Pro Max, like I said, that's why you clicked on this video, but I also have the just plain 16 in pink, but I'm saving this for a separate video. So make sure to subscribe and stick around if you want to see that video and maybe a little comparison video, I don't know. So we're gonna set this one off for now. I have been waiting for this release ever since I got my 15. Right when I got my 15, I didn't do a pre-order or anything and I got the Pro, which I wanted the Pro Max and I got 256 gigabytes, which is not what I wanted. It was literally just the only phone that Verizon had in stock on release day. So I went with it and I've been unhappy with it ever since. So we are upgrading. We're going to go back to a bigger phone. So we'll see how it goes. I will be passing this phone down to my husband though. And he's going to keep it so that he can have the new Apple intelligence when it comes out. Anyways, my little Apple store haul real fast. We obviously went to the Apple store this morning. You guys saw a few clips from that because I've also never gone on release day and picked up a phone and it was really, really fun. My nearest Apple store was almost two hours away. So that wasn't very fun, but the experience was worth it. So we have the phone and then I also bought this case. It's the Beats iPhone 16 Pro Max case. I really wanted the little baby pink Apple one, but they either didn't have it in stock or they don't make it for this phone yet. So I went with the next to neutral one that I found, which is this one. My other cases that I ordered that are like super cute aren't coming in until next week and I have to go the whole weekend without a case on my phone. That makes me nervous. So bought this at the store. A little impulse purchase. And then that is everything that was in the back. Okay, we'll set this up back here. Thank you. Okay, well obviously we'll do the phone first. So I got the iPhone 16 Pro Max in the new desert titanium color. So I'm very excited to see what it looks like. I upgraded big time and got one terabyte of storage. So if I run out, I don't know what to do with myself anymore if I run out of storage then. And then let me pull up my receipt just to give you guys an accurate idea of the price after tax and everything. The subtotal was $1,599. Then after tax, it was $1,710.93. Oh, we're just we're just not gonna talk about that again. Don't need to bring it up anymore. <laughs> okay, I think that's all you need to know about it right now. So let's go ahead and open it right now. Okay, I'm like nervous. I've been so I've been looking forward to this for a long time, as I said. This is it, the reveal of the desert titanium. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's almost, not gonna lie, it has a little bit of a rose tint to it, in my opinion. I love it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm so happy with my choice. I was nervous there for a minute. I was so scared I wasn't gonna like it. I don't know, I just didn't know what it was. Obviously, I didn't need to see it in person until right now. And so I was like, oh my gosh, should I have gotten the white? Like, that's easy, neutral, a classic. You can't go wrong with the white. So I was so scared, but oh my word, I am obsessed with this. Wow, wow, wow. I'm in disbelief, I'll be honest. I was not expecting that. <sighs> Matches my nails perfectly. Okay, let's check out what's in the box. Honestly, why is unwrapping the charger cords always one of the most satisfying parts? <laughs> Don't know, I love it though. All right, so we have our braided cable. It's USB-C to USB-C. Doesn't match the phone, that's okay. Boy, here we go. We get to unbox and open our user guide. I also unboxed the Apple Watch Series 10 yesterday and it was the same thing where there's like this little film on the user guide. I don't know why. It's just interesting that they're wrapping up a piece of paper <laughs> with a piece of paper. 
Awesome, so this is just saying you no longer need a physical SIM card to activate your any SIM during iPhone setup, which is great. That's how it was with my last one, which is awesome. Also, a moment for the little oval shaped guide here. Whoever decided on this at Apple, I appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed, at least by me. Okay, well, that's all that's in the box. No more stickers, which is so sad. My collection is going to be ending if they stop this with all the products. And I had seen somewhere online where people were like, yeah, if you still want stickers when you go and pick your order up from the Apple store, just ask and they'll give you one. I was like, oh, okay, sure, I'll try that. That was like last year. Maybe that was for the Max. I don't really remember which product it was, but somebody said that. So I tried and the girl was like, what? And she was like, oh, I mean, I'll go look and see if we have it in the back for you. I was like, okay, sure. If that's not what I'm supposed to do, it's totally fine. Like, don't worry about it. And she's like, oh, I'll go see. And then she kind of forgot. So I tried and failed to get an Apple sticker. That's okay, I'll live. Okay, I'm actually very happy because I was terrified that this thing was going to be too big, but my hand is, it's working. I can do it. <gasps> I forgot there was a new button. She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. All right, I think it's time to turn it on. me to do a demo on the camera control button. It says click camera control to open up the camera app and then click again to use it as a shutter. Oh, it wants me to do it. Okay. Oh, wow. I really thought it was going to give me a whole little tutorial there. Nope. I feel like I've learned over time. So what I like to do is back up my phone to iCloud, like my old previous phone the day before I get a new phone. Because then when you do it from an iCloud backup, I feel like it usually takes less time, at least for me. Like whenever I try to do the quick start, it literally would take hours to transfer my photos and everything in the past, which is not ideal because you literally can't use either phone while it does that. So this says about two minutes remaining, but we'll see. It's currently 12.22, so we'll see how long it takes. Okay, it's 12.33, so it took like 11-ish minutes. My old one says, enjoy your new phone. Whenever you're ready, come back to get this ready to be traded and sold or given away. All right. Okay, my restore is completed. Let's check it out. Okay, tried transferring my number earlier and then didn't work, so I'm gonna try it again since it's asking me to and we'll see if it works. Okay, continue on your other phone. Okay, cool. I might have to go into Verizon today, but that'll be a problem for later. Continue, let's see. Welcome to iPhone. Oh, it even transferred all my stuff. Okay, also it is 102, so it did take a little bit of time to do all that, but honestly, that's much shorter than it has been in the past for me. In the past, it's literally been like 12 hours while we sync your stuff, and I'm like, so, thank goodness this iCloud backup worked, and I'm very excited about that. It's my life hack for you guys if you're transferring phones. Oh my gosh, I love it. I feel like in certain lights, it looks like almost rosy pink, but then in a completely different light, it looks gold, and honestly, I love that. It's like the best of both worlds. I need to put a case on this like ASAP though, so we need to open this up. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> fun. I think this was like $50. Don't even look that protective, but uh, we'll see. They didn't have very many options in store that at least match my aesthetic. Okay, very cute. I love MagSafe. I have MagSafe's charging stands that I use like every day, every night. That's what my phone charges on. So I love this a lot. The only thing I don't really like, the orange there, it's kind of ruining the vibe, but honestly, it's fine, it's small. Okay, well, first we usually do some customizing, but I think I'm going to save that for a whole nother video and just do that on its own separately, especially because my phone is already customized like my other one was. So if you want a tutorial on how to do this, I did this in my iOS 18 customization tutorial with information on the lock screen and the app tinting and all that good stuff. So I will link that video down below, especially if you're getting the new phone, you'll have iOS 18 and you need to know those new customization tips. So as for features, I really, first off, wanted to test out the camera button. You guys, I've literally been so excited. I thought what better idea than to go out to my chaos garden and take some pictures of the flowers. So let's go out and test it out. Okay, it's time to test out the new camera control button. So you see on the phone, we have the power button 
then the new camera control button, and then volume, volume, and your action button. You can actually customize this to be whatever you want, but I like to keep it as my silent. Okay, when I first open up the camera app, it's telling me about the photographic styles, but I'm actually going to bypass that. Oops, I'm already clicking it. Oh, wow. This quality is already insane. Okay, I'm nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, okay, I like lightly pressed it. And then I have to, ooh. So it has to kind of all be in one motion, I think. Oh, and there's a click. Come back. How do I get to you? Okay, this is a learning curve. So there's option for zoom, cameras, styles, tone, the depth, and the exposure. So if I like press it to select that, I can choose. Okay, so right now it's like choosing obviously how much blur there is. How do I? Oh, okay. Long press does video, guys. Okay, like a half press. Oh, oh wait, I'm supposed to do this. Let's do the styles. Standard, vibrant, natural. Okay, take a picture. Okay, seems to be doing pretty well. I mean, already a pretty good upgrade from my 15. I will try and take some pictures on this and then on this right now and show you them compared to each other next. Also, don't judge. This garden needs watered really bad. <laughs> Is it embarrassing that my only thing around me to film for content for this video is corn because I live in Indiana and it's literally in my backyard. Okay, I just tried out the little audio mixing. I didn't realize it was something you had to do after you film your video. I was sitting there poking around in my settings trying to figure out how the heck to turn it on, but nope, it's like after. So I will do a clip with me talking with it normal and then with the different modes that I think sounds best. There's like three or four different options. So, okay, testing it out now. Okay. Testing it out now. Currently still adjusting to using the camera control button. It's a little hard to navigate at first, but I think once I get the hang of it, I'll really like it. Let's see how this camera adjusts to the new lighting as I'm walking into the sun because I was in the shade before. It's very hot outside today here. Okay, obsessed with the camera. So excited to keep using this as my daily phone and take all sorts of pictures on it, especially, okay, let's, Try it. Run. <gasps> I like the little animation. Watch. Wow. <laughs> now I can snap away. Very fun. I can't wait to get used to that. If you guys have any other questions or features you want me to talk about or test out during my review, drop those below so I can do that for you. Review will be coming shortly after I use this for a little bit more time, obviously. I personally love it, but I think that's just because I like to have shiny new toys, the new things. So do you need to upgrade? Maybe not. It really depends on if you are going to want these new Apple intelligence features that are coming out, especially because they're only going to be available for the 15 Pro. 15 Pro Max and then all the 16s. But also if you don't need like crazy amazing photos, you still like you like to take photos and you want them to be good but they don't need to be like amazing and you still want the Apple intelligence, the base model of the 16 might be the way to go. I'm going to unbox this next and this video will be up shortly. So if you're still in between, maybe wait and see what I say in this video because I haven't opened it yet so I don't know. I'll definitely do a little camera test between these two and see how different it actually is. I don't know, obviously, so we will see. I'm going to link the phone that I got down below. If I did help you make your decision or influence you at all, I would love it. If you purchase through my link, it's affiliate, so it'll help us both out. Win-win situation here. I'd also love it if you subscribe and stick around. I have so, so much iPhone content planned for this new phone, so if you want to see more information and more things about what I have to say and testing it out for a day in the line, you should subscribe and stick around because I have a lot more up my sleeve. Comment this emoji if you made it all the way to the end so I can know who my best friends are that watch all the way through my videos. And that is going to be all for this video, so thank you guys so so much for watching and i hope to see you here again soon bye